My name is Lisa Adams. I am owner and designer of LA Closet Design, a high-end design firm specializing in closets. I design closets of really all sizes, all budgets, all styles. On average, I would say they're about 250 to 700 square feet um, in size one story to three story closets. And in terms of budget, I would say on average about eighty dollars to $100,000 per closet. So my clients are normally wealthy, from people in the real estate industry to the entertainment industry, celebrities, athletes as well. It's my dream closet and I think it's, it's kind of um, a fantasy closet. It's the ultimate closet for someone that adores fashion. I love purses and I collect um, a lot of vintage Chanel purses and when I get ready I like to be able to see everything that I have so it inspires me what type of mood I'm in or what I want to wear that day. In the closets I design, customization and personalization is really everything. So part of the process for me when I meet a client is to talk about their, their lifestyle, their needs, what they like. It's about counting everything they have. We go through a very thorough inventory process where we're measuring shoes, we're counting, we're counting heel sizes, we're measuring purses, hanging heights of clothing. So everything is just very personal, including lighting in the closet. I think a lot of times there's not enough lighting. So coming up with lighted hanging rods is something that I've done as well, which makes a world of difference and also makes the closet feel like a boutique. It's approximately 400 square feet and it houses over 100 purses, about 150 pairs of shoes. We have hanging boots. Everything has a compartment or an area. I have an area just for suits, for work. I have an area just for shirts, an area for casual shirts, an area for long sleeve shirts. I have two different pullouts for scarves. I have a specific drawer for my sunglasses, a drawer for all my belts, a drawer for just charging all of my items because I hate seeing cords. And I also have a, a drawer for my dog and to dress my dog. Some unusual requests that I, I I've gotten in the past have been a stripper pole. I've also had to install breakfast bars in closets, refrigerators, televisions, watch winders, safes. It was an expensive process, but I work in residential real estate in the high-end market, and I, I know value, and I know what increases value for properties, and one of them is a large walk-in closet. So with that in mind, I thought that it would increase the value of our home. I knew by doing this, this was going to sell the house. It's always the woman that makes the final decision. A woman walks into this house, she sees the closet, and it's, honey, I have to have it. 